Eric back of the naturopath thank you for coming back to look at our channel we're talking about salicylates we're doing a whole playlist on salicylates so salicylates are naturally occurring okay chemicals they're hormones found in plants to prevent basically attack from insects and fungi and bacteria to destroy that plant so these chemicals are found just under the skin normally and they can range from mild okay up to very high if we look at some foods contain really high amounts like berries for example almonds mint but particularly um, anything with mint in it will be high but also of course aspirin which is top of the tree 650 milligrams of um, salicylic acid if you compare that with a couple of milligrams in a tomato it makes a lot of sense you know to eat more tomatoes and less aspirin doesn't it now what was the question should you avoid salicylates i don't think you should i think you should avoid medications that are potentially linked to salicylate sensitivity. Yes, that's what I think. So if you're taking medication, any kind of drug, and if you go to Google and type in a list of drugs that contain uh, salicylates, I think you'll be shocked to see it's a huge long list, you know? It's not just like aspirin, number one. There'll be many medications. So that's what you need to avoid initially if you've got a salicylate problem, is avoid medications containing salicylates. If you've done that diligently, and you still have a problem about you know six or eight weeks after you stop the meds then have a look at the highest containing foods then you should try and avoid those that's my opinion anyway for what it's worth thanks for tuning in